Today's video is about risking it all to chase a dream, about a couple who spent their life savings on a food truck in the hopes of introducing Filipino food to their community and who have since taken Auckland by storm with their amazing Filipino food. We are so pumped to introduce Laura and Aldrin Tabora with you. They are the owner operators of Hapunan, a food truck and takeout shop serving up contemporary Filipino food. Hapunan is kind of Filipino food but with a modern take. So we've kind of took the classics but we've kind of presented them in a little bit of a different way. So it's kind of welcoming for Europeans but Filipinos still know that it's their cuisine. And yeah, and understand it. My mouth is watering reading the menu. So it's a really succinct menu that's inspired by traditional Filipino dishes as well as street food that you would find in the Philippines, but with a twist. Uh, well, the Filipino food is pretty much like a melting pot of um, cultures, yeah, yeah. Co cultures like um, um, Spanish, Malay, Chinese. I think that's why it's kind of so welcoming to everyone because there's a little bit of each culture in there. For me, I feel like Hapunan do a little bit differently to how it's supposed to be presented in the Philippines. So for us, we kind of have modernized it in a way where it's quite presentable, I guess you could say, because in the Philippines, as though as it tastes amazing, the look is very basic. It's different. Yeah. Because we're Hapunan. Yeah. Papar fried chicken. Can I have two adobo, please, Chef? Aldrin and Laura are hugely passionate about introducing Filipino flavours to the kiwi palate. So, ingredients like soy, vinegar, coconut, palm sugar, but it's all packaged very cleverly. So, I'm peering over Aldrin's shoulder as the pata tim is being made. Pata tim is traditionally served as a big pork hock, so it's a braised pork hock, but here, They've shredded the pork hock and stuffed it into a bowl. I think the paratim is one of the most um, questionable yeah. to, um, to, um, to Filipinos. So you're expecting a pork hock, like a big pork hock. But then um, you receive your, um, your paratim, it's like in a shopau. Shopau is like a bauban in Philippines. I love it because yeah. that's my mission. Be because yeah. I, think, I think Filipino food like never evolved. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't change. Yeah. So much love goes into the food, even the way that Aldrin is mixing that slaw. So much care. Because at the heart of it is still just Laura and Aldrin and their team passionate about Filipino food. I said we should bring Filipino food to New Zealand because there's nothing yeah. really here at that time. And then we were planning our wedding and Audrey's like, why don't we kind of invest all our savings into something? Yeah. So we're like, let's get a food truck. <laughs> so that's how it started. The so concept. All your life savings on a food truck. Yeah. yeah. We're all the wedding funds really. So we had 30k to kind of dabble into and we kind of just sectioned it out and we just kind of bought a little bit here, bought a little bit there, and we just kind of built it yeah. over time. So we are just like a takeaway shop in here, but you know, we, we put like so much love into this food and so much time and energy. You can tell from the diner's faces though, you know, people have these giant smiles on their faces when they're eating your food. Yeah. Like I always have a massive That's smile like, yeah. on my face. Yeah. It's so delicious. Yeah. You can taste the love. Yeah, you, you, you have to love it um, on your first bite, otherwise, bye bye. So this is the delicious, magical adobo del diablo. Yep, that's one of our uh, signature dish. It's a little bit controversial too though. Yes, it is. Well, you know, um, this one, um, our version is uh, soy sauce, vinegar, coconut milk, um, bay leaves, peppercorns, garlic and chili. But it looks different, doesn't it? Like in yes, the Philippines, yeah. it's, it's black. It's black, yeah. Um, this one is like, uh, the reason why it's yellow because of the turmeric. That gives us like another like, 
level of um, you know um, spice and flavor. Yeah. The top dish we have never taken it off. Yeah. We probably will never take it off. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, number two is the uh, the taho. The taho is like um, um, supposed to be in Philippines. It's supposed to be a um, um, silken tofu. So he's like, why don't I kind of make something similar? So he did a soy panna cotta. And then he did his own syrup, and then he put his own sago, and he's like, here, have this. And I was like, Audrey, this tastes better than the Philippines. And he's like, oh, should we sell it? I was like, why not? So I posted it, and I kid you not, as soon as we opened the doors at Britomart, we had a line from the end of Britomart to the far end of the atrium. And you know how big that is. And all the other food trucks were like, <laughs> what, what are, are you selling? <laughs> Taho! 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 And I was like, what? What is that? We sold out within an hour. We'd had hundreds, 300 Taho, I think. And this lady was so desperate to have Taho, she found this guy and he's like, I'll give you $300. For the Tahoe, I'll give you three hundred dollars. One cup. For we were selling it for eight dollars. Cup. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> it is my Tahoe. Yeah. I feel for this. <laughs> yeah. He you paid eight dollars yeah. for it, and he wouldn't sell it for three hundred dollars. Yeah. And the market organizer was like, "What is, what is this? <laughs> I've never seen anything like this in my life." And we're like, "Me neither." <laughs> We've ordered three quarters of the menu. So the menu is super succinct, but every dish is standout. You cannot order badly at Hafunan. And the food is colorful and vibrant. Just look at it, it's so appealing. We've got adobo del diablo. So in the Philippines, this would be black. So with slaw, rice, we've got the pata tim. So traditionally a whole pork hock, but here it's been pulled apart, stuffed into a bowl. Served with pickled cucumber, coriander, chili. We've got the lumpia, so spring rolls stuffed full of longanisa, which is Filipino breakfast sausage. We've got calamari in a salty, sweet soy sauce. And this one's beef kare kare, beef braised in a peanut and a natto sauce. And then we've got the desserts. Ube ice cream, look at that bright purple ice cream. Ube is sweet purple yam, that is delicious, we've had that before. And this is taho. In the Philippines, this is a breakfast street food of silken tofu in a syrup. But Hapunan's version is a soy panna cotta with palm sugar syrup and mini sago. This is next level delicious and really popular. I'm going in for their signature dish, the adobo del diablo. Absolutely sensational. The chicken is super tender, the coconut rice is so creamy. You can taste the love in the food. Audrin has worked for years in kitchens and he has perfected his craft. And I think that Hapunan's goal of introducing Filipino flavors to the Kiwi palate is totally working because the food is fun to eat, it's delicious, but it's Filipino food, you know? It's got those traditional flavors, far out it's good. Mmm. I love this dessert so much. The soy panna cotta is so creamy. That hit of sweetness from the palm sugar, the pop of the sago, far out. This feast has just been so delicious. And this has been such a joy to film. We have loved sharing Habunan's story with you. We find it so inspiring. Spending your life savings on a food truck to realize your dream of promoting and sharing the food of your culture. It's absolutely awesome and they are doing everything so well. They have worked so hard to build this business up and it has been such a joy and such a pleasure to share it with you. We hope you have enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching. Hit subscribe if you liked it. There's more to come on the channel like this. See you soon. For us really, we're just super stoked that we've got this far and I think that there's only more to come, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Keep going, get up and show up. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs>